So what was going on in Marilyn's love life, her sexuality? At a time where things were more prudent, she oozed sexuality and the men were drawn to that. But um, I don't believe Marilyn felt love or knew love. I really, uh, when I regressed on it, um, she was unable to, it's, it's like it was so fleeting, like there'd be days where she would love really strongly, but then, you know, in two hours from then it could be completely gone. It wasn't like, you know, a real couple's love that you see in marriages. She was unable to attain that. She, she was never going to have that. I could see that. So she had more of a lust thing. Yeah, she had, it, it would be a lust thing and it would be like an affirmation thing. And, you know, the slightest thing would turn her off. If she felt the slightest bit of betrayal or that you might have thought something about her or you might have said something about her or she thought you were talking about her, she lost it. Like, she just totally changed her feelings for that person and she could no longer trust them. And if there's no trust, then there's no love. So I really found that Marilyn was unable to love because of her inability to trust. How does her inability to love affect you? It, it's ingrained in me still. Um, I, I have to force myself to love more than to seek love. I, I have to force myself to give rather than just thinking, oh, love me, love me, you know? I think to myself, and I, I get this with my animal rights causes, with my band and stuff, I feel that loving outwards is actually the love, it's, it gives love back. So I'm learning as Sherry that this, the seeking of approval and the love from other people that might never come. So I just, I'm learning to let that go. What about Marilyn's jaded history? Her history with alcohol and just being wild. Marilyn was pegged as something um, back then that was mostly by other women. I mean, there's a lot of jealousy in the entertainment field. So of course, you know, they're thinking she's sleazy and sort of loose, but I mean, you can go as far back as the biblical days or as far back as the 20s, the prohibition with the alcohol. I mean, everybody was drinking and it's just the, the double standard for women. Um, Marilyn, because I think it's the on-call, you know, to be awake, you have to be asleep, to, to fit the schedule. A lot of these things are like hazards of the job. So um, Marilyn's alcohol problem and her pill problem has a lot to do with just I have to get to sleep I have to wake up so being on the job I mean maybe if people nowadays would change the schedules maybe people wouldn't <laughs> if bosses didn't yell at you for showing up late maybe you wouldn't have an issue so <laughs> but I understand that Marilyn lived fast she was always hitting the bottle she was taking medications all sorts of different things the medications I mean did she how did that affect her with medication alcohol uh, makes any kind of pill act four times stronger. So what I found at, through myself and through my regressions as at Marilyn, um, she knew what kicked off what and how fast. And so she would always take the shortcut. It was really just a shortcut. It wasn't like she was saying to myself, to herself, I've got to be hammered for this. That's not the goal. The goal was just to be, I need to be comfortable. I need to not worry about myself. I don't want to think, oh, do I look fat? Do I look, you know, she wanted to lose that so she could give more all the time. And I mean, what happens when you start taking these kind of things? You're going to need them the next time and the next time. And it just, it's a snowball effect. What about the thing of the Kennedys? Yeah. Okay, the Kennedy thing, that was real. And, um, <clears throat> Um, when you travel in the circle of certain people, you know, it's like being at off office romance. It's, it's bound to happen. With all of those affecting her life so much, did, did she have a fear of death? Marilyn thought of death continuously. Um, she always thought it would be the ultimate solution to every pain she ever felt mentally or emotionally, even sometimes physically, but not so much that. Um, it was just always the way out. I can't stand to be here. There's nothing to be here for. What really is this all about? Why, what is, you know, the earth? What is, what are people doing here? She was always questioning everything. And um, she constantly thought of death. How did her death happen? How did Marilyn die? Was it suicide? 